Well, I think probably the easiest way to learn how to say a prayer in Russian is you start by saying Nash, which is our, Nash. Daragoy is dear. Nash Daragoy, our dear Heavenly Father. Nash Daragoy, Nibesni Atets. Nibesni is heavenly, Atets is father. And then um, you could just say Ya Blagadarin. Ya is I. Blagadarin is am thankful. And then you would say Za which is four, and then whatever else you're going to say. So, наш дорогой небесный отец, я благодарен за something. Then you would say, uh, I would ask you for something. Я прошу, I, я прошу, ask, тебя, you, God. Um, and for whatever, за something. So, я прошу тебя за something. And then you would say, in closing, um, во имя, in the name, Isusa Christa Amin. So the whole thing would sound like Nashtaragoy Nibesni Atiets. Ya Blagadarin za Mayusin you, which is my family. Ya Prashu Tibia za Blagaslavenia for blessings. Voimia Isusa Christa Amin. When you use the word za for, there's actually two types of for. There's Dlya and Za, and one of them is in exchange and one of them is in behalf of. In, in America, we use the word for, for both of those. So you have to make sure which one you're using. Um, and the, what's cool about that to me is that when you speak of the atonement, you have to use a specific one because it's Christ died. Uh, well, in, in speaking of the atonement, I have to correct myself. You can use either or, but they have a different meaning. Usually you have to choose the right one in any other circumstance. But when speaking of the atonement, if you said, Dla Christ died dla nas for us, you would say in behalf of us, which is its own cool meaning. Otherwise, if you said he died za nas, it would mean in exchange for us, as in like taking a death penalty that we deserve. So it's actually really cool. There's there's these little insights in the language that really teach you doctrine in a really profound way. So I just that's what I love about the richness of the language is there's things like that, just even ordinary words that change how you view things.